I classified the radial step design in two separate types for your convenience. The only difference is the offset angle alpha used in complicated version. In the previous video I showed the design process of the simpler version and in this video I'm going to show you the complicated version. So this is the radial step on top of its substrate. It's defined by three variables SW, SL and SH and you know that they are the parameters for the substrate. Now let's uh, consider this Cartesian coordinate system and this complicated version of the radial stub. You can see the angle alpha which is the offset angle and theta is the angle subtended by the arc at the center. And then this angle is very easy to find out, right? And the rest of the parameters are similar to the previous version of the radial stub. Red corresponds to the radius and LW are the length and the width of the microstrip. So if you summarize all the parameters in a table, we can see that uh, this table contains all the parameters with their values. And the only additional parameter is alpha highlighted by yellow color. The fourth variable, CUT, is the industry standard thickness of a 2 ounce copper when it's pressed uniformly on a PCB board. So you can change the thickness of the copper depending upon your need. Alright, let's go to CST platform to start the design process. First of all, turn on the local coordinate system, UVW, and then let's make the substrate. Let's name it substrate and then enter the required parameters. All right, and this one is minus sh. Let's load the material from the material library, type Technic, and we will use Technic RF35. You can use your own material. And let's define the width as 30 millimeter, also the length, and the thickness is 1.5 millimeter. So on top of this substrate, we're going to make the radial stop. To begin with, we will first draw the offset angle alpha with an arc. Go to curves and select arc, and then double click on the origin and draw a random circle and double click on this point and then drag the mouse and draw an arc you don't need to be precise and let's name it offset arc because this is going to be our offset angle this will be the center 0 0 and this v1 should be equal to radius of the arc so type rad and this angle will be our offset angle alpha all right okay so press ok and give the parameter value 10 millimeter and alpha is 25 degree okay so so this arc will define the offset angle alpha right now Go to picks and pick points and double click on this point. The coordinate of this point will be shown in this small window. P1 is the point name and we will define two more parameters to store the coordinates of P1. P1x for x coordinate. So type the x coordinate carefully and P1y for Y coordinate. Type it carefully so that you don't do any mistake. Okay, so we have stored the coordinates of this highlighted red dot in terms of parameters. Now go to curves and arc again and double click on the origin again and draw the circle again 
and double click on this point and draw another arc this will be our main arc for the radial stop so name it red underscore stop underscore arc and this is the center and this will be our first point so e1 is uh, p1x because this will be the point the x-coordinate of p1 and v1 will be the y-coordinate of p1 and the angle should be equal to theta all right and the theta value is 50 degree okay so we created the main arc for the radial stop now we have to again store the second point so go to picks and pick point and select this point double click on it you can see there are two distinct points p1 and p2 we have already stored p1 value and now we will store the p2 coordinates so type p2x for x coordinate it's nine point six five nine two five nine all right and for y coordinate p2y it's two point two five eight eight one nine zero okay very nice now time to draw the polygon now go to curves and select polygon and start drawing the polygon from this point so double click on this point and roughly draw a polygon don't worry about the precision because we are going to take care about the coordinates a little later double click on this point to end the polygon so this is the coordinate window for the polygon this is our first point it should be p1x and p1y and the second point is the origin 0 0 right no change all right and the third point is this and this one should be negative of l L is the distance between the origin and the end point of the microstrip line. And the value of L is 12 millimeter according to the table. And define this fourth point W and W is the width of the microstrip line. And this one will be negative of L and it should be w but this one should be zero and the last point this point we have stored the value of this point in terms of p2x and p2y so just use them p2x and p2y okay all right now we just created the polygon Now you can see there are three different curves, right? But we do not need this offset arc because we have completed drawing, so we can delete it. So we are left with the other two curves. Now this is completely 2D geometry and we need to make it 3D object. So for that, select the curve one and we will use extrude function to make it 3D object. All right. So select the curve one and go to curves tool and then double click on the profile. You can see the orange color outline. And this blue tiny arrow indicates the direction of extrusion and let's define the name red underscore stop and the thickness will be cut which is the standard two ounce copper thickness on a pcb board 
and PC means perfect electrical conductor 0 0.07 millimeter okay so that's the radial step that we wanted to design right it's very easy right so uh, since uh, this is a parameterized geometry and the advantage of a parameterized geometry is that we can always modify it later at any time just it's a simple a click away for example if we change the W and press F7 to update the geometry the width changes right also for another parameter L I mean you can change the parameters uh, according to your requirement uh, right so there's the advantage of using parameterized geometry in your design so I hope that you will be benefited from this tutorial and if you feel so so please let me know about it in the comment section and for any inquiry you can leave it below thanks